Welcome to the Beyond Cinema Studio presented by Celebs.com up here at the Sundance Film Festival. Logan, Jason, Noah and January. Um, firstly, congratulations on being here. Um, guys, when did this craziness, a preacher, a whore, a Mexican, when did this, all this craziness begin? Well, the, the, the script was, uh, was, was sent to us by the producers and they wanted to bring us on to, to rewrite um, to rewrite the screenplay, and so we wanted the, to take it in a very different direction than, than I think it, you know, um, than what it was, and, and uh, you know, it came about, you know, varying stages. You know, we probably did 30, 40 you know, drafts of the script, and then you know, you're writing day of the set. So I don't know where these. Uh, obviously, there was a core there, but but Jason's character and Ed's character, we just. It was a ranch. Yeah, wasn't yeah he, he was a rancher. rancher. Yeah, the original yeah. script. He was a rancher, and, and um, it's a much more traditional western. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you weren't a, a womanizing, landowning. He's not a womanizer. He's not. He's a man of God who has multiple wives because there are. You know, I don't want to point the finger, but there are many people today who have multiple wives, and certainly have been communities in the past where people are polygamous. So and and of it course, it just so happens one of my wives is my daughter as well. So I'm keeping it in the family. <laughs> That's right, but you get to unleash hell in this as the uh, brutal sheep uh, farmer people but you know the thing is if you're getting revelations directly from God and he gives you permission and carte blanche to kill rape murder and commit incest then you're not really doing anything wrong through a certain perspective yeah do you blame the wig do I blame the wig it's a, <laughs> when, I put a, when I put a long wig on you know bad things are gonna happen that's right in terms of that I mean Lucius obviously bad on some level this guy bad on yeah. a little bit of a different level um, the obvious, who'd win in a battle between the two evils? Well, I think, you know, Prophet Josiah doesn't have a wand, yeah. or if he does, it's, uh, it's slightly more fleshy. So um, <laughs> I, think, I think Lucius would turn him into a frog. <laughs> Very funny. Um, January, as Sarah in this role, obviously you get to uh, act out a little bit. Did you, were you kind of a gun-toting person beforehand, or was this like a really <laughs> kind of cool opportunity to learn some new skills? Um, I do not tote guns on day to day, but uh, I've shot before in films and, um, you know, like clay shooting and things like that. So I was comfortable around a gun. Um, but, you know, part of the attraction for the, for me, for, of the role was um, that she was a bit hardened and, and there was a strength about her that I loved. Do you think of it as a love story or a blood story? I think it certainly starts out as a love story. And I think that the revenge comes from that. Like, you know, that loss of love. Yeah. And in terms of um, just working with Ed and his wife, Amy, as well on set, is that a kind of cool dynamic to have? It was, yeah, I love them both dearly. They're great. They're great actors and they're great people. Yeah. What about with you guys? I mean, obviously, a completely different relationship with Ed. In your first film, he was playing your dad, essentially, on a kind of semi-autobiographical you know, autobiograph level. Um, here, he's kind of looking out for you in a way, too. Is he just that father figure that you're taking through your uh, your kind of film experiences? Uh, yeah, yeah, you could you could definitely put it that way. He's he's been very generous to us and kind to us. He really actually kind of anchored us as directors to 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 the movie. When we rewrote the script, um, we sent it to Dad and uh, called us the next morning and said, "Hey, I'm in." And then we two days later we sat down with the producers and they said, "Hey, Ed, what?" Because we were at that point we weren't the you know the guys that were directing the movie. In our minds, we were. But you know, not to to there were several producers on the project, and um, they said, uh, "So Ed, what do you think of the script?" And he's like, "Oh, I really like what the boys have done, but uh, if they're not directing, I'm not interested." So that he's pretty been good. very. We've become very good friends, and that's and, pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. He, so, he's that was um, totally unscripted, uncoached. Yeah, we he didn't just, even plan. Hey, we didn't know that, no. that that was that he was even going to say that. So yeah, he's he's he and he and he took a huge risk on us on our first movie when we didn't have a body of work yeah and uh, he just uh, he just trusted us implicitly and 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 um, and and believed in us so without really any reason to believe in us other than we were passionate and enthusiastic told you know? when he gets yeah. when he gets told. biblical on the sheriff it's kind of poetic it kind of looks like he's dancing oh cool yeah yeah, yeah. we um, um, are you talking about when he comes when he, yeah, when when he comes he, into the hour. yeah dancing yeah in the yeah we, I don't, I, we uh, we had envisioned some uh, th th that that he would be dancing to because he's this very eccentric 
you know, sheriff that he would be dancing to the band playing in the street. And so, you know, those are Ed's moves. Yeah, those you are know? Ed's moves, yeah. exactly. Are, yeah. yeah. There was yeah. no choreographer in this movie. That Other was, that than he good. dances, yeah. you know, in the, in the, across the street. And yeah. He is and quite the, the dancer, Ed. Yeah. yeah. But he's also pulled some pretty cool, like, WWF kind of moves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I was kind of impressed by that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had actually seen a guy I, I, um, I, when, we, when we were kids. Yeah, that, that um, was inspired. Yeah, that move was inspired by a, a, a rec center. Um, this this guy that ran our, rec, our our local rec center he did that to a a, a kid wrote he, he was Joe is a Jew on the chalkboard and uh, um, he saw him do it and he threw the kid outside and, and then did, did a cannibal, cannibal on him, on him. so we yeah. liked that and thought it was effective yeah. and so got to do that the eighteen hundreds not an obvious choice for an independent film given the all that that entails and having to create that whole world. For you guys coming into a set like that where it's like completely a different reality, is that really kind of helpful um, in terms of your process? I mean, I know we've spoken before and you're pretty intuitive in that sense. Well, I think any any time you have the opportunity to um, really physically transform yourself because you're in a different time period, um, it's helpful. It's a bit of a cheat. Um, when you get to set already, you're already feeling like you're someone else. Uh, and the landscape itself, too, lended a whole other aspect of that we were doing something completely different. Yeah. How did it feel being out in New Mexico? It was beautiful. I mean, we were struggling with uh, the monsoon season, but, it, it, you know, we had beautiful skies and lightning and all kinds of cool stuff. Did you keep any souvenirs from that crazy set? I bought a house. <laughs> Holy cow. Go with the money from the film. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe. Lego house. Man. Maybe. They just didn't tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you, so you really, if, if, acting, if acting is pretending or imagining you're in a situation and just trying to be that person in that situation, it's a hell of a lot easier if you're on a horse and there's a dusty street and there's people dressed in the right clothes. We've both done a lot of stuff where it's green screen and there's someone who's actually on their Blackberry holding a tennis ball on a stick and you have to think <laughs> it's, a, it's an alien flying at yeah, you. So, be scared. You know, it's much easier. You're only playing that's believe, you know, make believe. So, and if you don't have to do any work. The other thing that really helps is when the other actors are fantastic. You know, Jeremy's a fantastic actress and Ed is, you know, like Jeremy is really alive in the scene. If you look at somebody else and they really do seem to be the thing you're meant to be interacting with, you don't actually think about your own acting because yeah. you're just there with them. They're doing 95% of the work for you. Did you keep the knife? The Bowie knife. Well, funnily enough, they presented me last night at the cast and crew dinner celebration with my own fresh copy of this oh, big really? knife, which I, I was instantly thrilled with. And then I suddenly thought, How am I going to get this home? What are we going to do with this thing? But uh, it's fantastic. It will take pride in place. Carry on luggage, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, it is funny, though, like, I mean, saying you, you bought a place. I mean, with Vigo, I obviously worked with Ed Harris on, on Appaloosa, and um, he was saying how, like, I think I, either on Appaloosa or Hidalgo, he took the horse. Yeah. You know. He's a big horseman though, big loves yeah. horses. So it's a pretty it's a pretty cool relationship then that you that you were inspired so much by this place to kind of invest in the area. It means beautiful, it's a beautiful mm. place. Have it's you done magical. that? Have you bought a place every every <laughs> <so>? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> She's got the house. I collect land, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Collect property. No, it's one of those places actually that you get there and you understand because like, I knew there'd been a bit be I'm an exodus, but kind of ex community from LA, a lot of people in our business buy places in in New Mexico. Yeah. I don't know why, because it's not on the ocean. Being British, I always don't understand, don't understand if you don't buy a place that's on the sea. And, uh, and then you get there and the skies are so overwhelming. They look like they're digitally enhanced. The stars are brighter than you've ever seen. And then these, there's these spectacular electrical storms every night and, and dust storms and the whole thing feels biblical. Yeah, biblical, which is cool because, I mean, obviously your names and, and uh, kind of that way in That wasn't meant to be a cheesy link. You provided the perfect segue Thank for you. me. I'm th thankful. Um, but also, you guys got to control the river. Yes. Yeah, actually, you have done your research. Jesus. <laughs> How did you... Uh, yeah. Um, um, we had, I think it was like, like an, an eight hour window, yeah, eight hour. I believe. Where no, we, no, 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 no. Four or six hour window, I think, to shoot that. Yeah, uh, because it was uh, the scene in particular where January's in, in, in the river. It was. Uh, we had scouted it uh, four weeks earlier and it was much lower, and then, you know, it just kept And then it rained and rained. Was that something you asked for and then it just happened, or like. No, we didn't want it that high. Yeah. Oh, you, you, in terms of enabling, you know, yes. enabling. Oh, yeah. It to yeah, yeah, we worked with, uh, with the. Um, Gosh, Jeez, I'm New Mexico right Department of Water, whatever, uh, um, yeah, and they on. and they gave us a, a, a brief time where they would they would actually they 
they lowered, um, they just stopped the flow. They, they reduced the flow coming out. No, they, yeah, 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 yeah. they reduced the flow coming out of the dam because it, yeah. had the had the water wow. level been what it what it I was, believe. it would have swept her away. Yeah, January so, would have been all doosh. Yeah. First day. Yeah. Anything, we didn't even anything for art, right? <laughs> no, they were gonna put a one of those. What are they called? Things around my ankle in case it did sweep me away. That they could oh, kind of lose. Leash. Wait. Leash. Leash. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. But they, I, as long as I didn't step too far in, every once in a while I'd step a little bit too far in and get, you know, pulled down. I think it was the location manager even said that it was even, there was even an option to, to lower the river. And, and we thought he was kidding at first. Yeah. And they said, no, I'm totally serious. Yeah, we'll, we'll all talk to the, to the cool? guys and see, oh. if, see if we can do it. It's freezing. And what, at what point did Jason Aldean become a good choice for, for mm -hmm. his mate? Um, that was that was something that the the producers were, were keen on, um, and, we, and we thought he did fine. Yeah, yeah. Castle I'm just fine. Fine. <laughs> Listen, I'm, uh, I'm English, so I had no idea he's one of the biggest music stars in the country. Yeah. He was really humble and lovely. Oh, and so nice. nice. Yeah, actually, sorry, we met him out in Palm Springs. Sorry, prior, we met him out, out in Palm Springs, and yeah, he was just very humble. And uh, he wanted a very small role. He said, he said, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to come out there and 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 all these established actors thinking that I'm trying to strut around, think acting like I you know know what I'm doing he said I'm um, I'm a performer and so I do act you know mm -hmm. every, every night every night on stage and I, I love movies and, and it, it would be it is a great opportunity for me to see if I have a, uh, some talent at it and I you know but I, I want it to be a small or he was role. very great so, yeah. Yeah. yeah it was great it was great on the whole yeah, great. Like, honestly yeah. if people hadn't told me I would never have known that he was a giant celebrity yeah. he, was, he never bring any of that stuff in him I think it's really cool it looks like he really got to kind of in an idealistic sense like just grab people from all over the planet and put them in this place. And the fact that you managed to get them all on your second movie and now have it up at Sundance is a pretty amazing kind of record and a vindication of, of you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank so uh, congratulations on having the film up here and thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Appreciate thank you. it. Right. Very well researched question. <laughs> yeah, I know. Jeez. How did you know about, how did you you know about the about water? How did you know about that? Uh, where did that come from? I'm sorry. Were you I'm, in the bushes when January was naked out there? There was a guy in the bushes. <laughs>